Hey everybody, it's uh, Dr. Nathan Miller from Cloud Peak Chiropractic and Wellness. And today I want to talk to you about uh, neck pain and travel. And many of you guys are traveling uh, for the summer, which is great, um, but you sleep in a lot of different places. You sleep in campers, you sleep in uh, strange hotel bed, you sleep in even guest beds at uh, other people's houses and a lot of times you know our neck is not used to the change. So how do you set yourself up uh, for success? How do you give yourself a better chance at not having neck pain while you're sleeping and while you're traveling? And the first thing that I want to recommend is to stretch before you go to sleep. Um, you set yourself up for a better pain-free night if you've stretched out your neck muscles. Um, during the day, everything gets tends to get pretty tight and we want to stretch everything out. Um, gentle stretching is what you want to do. You don't want to hold any stretch that you do, you know, between 10 to 15 seconds. Don't overdo it. If it hurts to stretch something, you know, don't stretch it. We want light stretching. We don't want heavy stretching. And so you can do any any sort of motion in the neck that you can think of and stretch it. So I just put my hand on my head, lightly stretch it over, stretch it the other way. I'll be stretching down into my, I'll look down into my opposite armpit, put my hand on my head, give a little pull, you know, do all different ways. You wanna make sure you get everything stretched out. Any motion that you can get in your neck before you go to bed is good. If you do any range of motion exercises like around or any sort of thing like that, turning, then you make slow motions. Don't do anything quick. Um, the next thing that I want to recommend is don't take your phone to bed. I know a lot of us like to have our phone in bed, uh, but chances are that you're looking down at your phone, whether you're laying down and you have your head propped up or you're sitting up and you're looking down at your phone, chances are you're looking at your phone at a downward angle. And that is bad for your neck, especially right before bed. You're sitting in the same position for a while, your neck's getting stiff. Um, as well, the light from the phone, you know, causes your brain to think that it's daytime. And so it keeps you awake at night. If you can put the phone down, get into a habit of not looking at the phone while you're trying to go to sleep, then you're gonna have better nights of rest especially when you're traveling and you're in strange beds. And then the last tip that I want to give is if you're traveling, uh, take your own pillow. Um, you know your pillow. You know that it works for your neck. I don't know how many times people come in and say, I slept on a strange pillow uh, over the weekend and my neck hurts. Well, just take your pillow. Um, you know that it's right for you. You wake up at home without uh, pain. Let's uh, keep it that way while we're traveling. And the last thing I want to say, this isn't really a tip, but if you have constant neck pain uh, during the day and it gets worse at night, you know, maybe it isn't your bed that's doing it. You might ha may have another injury. Just come in, uh, let uh, me or Dr. Sarah know, you know, what you're dealing with and we can tell you how we can help. If you have any questions, um, just let us know either in the comments or come in and ask us, you know, we can also provide good information here at Cloud Peak Chiropractic and Wellness. Thank you.